Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. We're going to be talking about possible problems you may encounter. And I just decided to do this video today because I got a question from a viewer. And simply put is these PGI 72s, and even if you go back to the 9500 Mark II, the PGI 9s, and even earlier versions of that cartridge, they have a very interesting internal component. It was one of the first cartridges by Canon to introduce an ink bladder. Basically, it's a pleated bag that holds a certain amount of ink, depending on the cartridge. Now, Pro 10s, if you're lucky to still have one of those, because they're very difficult to find now. Of course, it's been replaced by the Image Pro Graph 300, which is basically a Pro 10 that has been upgraded a little bit so that it can bear the title of image prograph okay but they still use the same type of cartridge it's the same identical construction internally it has an ink bag so unlike the pro 100 versus pro 200 refilling if you want to get into that the pro 200 is an opaque cartridge you don't get to see how the ink is being absorbed by the sponge well with a pro 10 it doesn't really matter because they were opaque to begin with so we did our refilling basically by weighing the cartridge as it sat on a scale you dribble the ink on the exit port which is like a sponge rectangular or oval shape but rectangular and you wait until it reaches about 32 grams but what if it reaches 28 grams or 26 grams and the sponge is beginning to flood giving you the appearance that the cartridge is full but in reality you have air inside your bag and the reason that happens is because people have a tendency to throw away these little clips okay and then you store your cartridge which is empty in a bag without this clip and of course what happens that bag originally was collapsed because it ran out of ink or nearly ran out of ink so the bag was collapsed and you can just fill it instantly. No problem at all. The ink just dribbles right in. But if you allow the bag to expand by not refilling it for days or whatever, maybe weeks even, and you do not have one of these clips installed on the cartridge, that bag has no option but to expand back to full. Now I'm gonna walk over to the camera and I'm gonna show you what a cartridge looks like when the bag is expanded and basically it is impossible to fill at this point unless you do this little procedure that i'm going to describe next although i have clips installed on both of these cartridges i want you to see right here you see that diaphragm it's all the way to the front. Let me angle it. There you go. Now you can see it. And then you see that circle in the middle? That's part of the diaphragm construction. And notice this one, you don't see that diaphragm, meaning that diaphragm is on the opposite wall, meaning that bag is collapsed. So this was allowed to sit until by a certain amount of time, the bag eventually expanded back out to full. I cannot refill this cartridge until I perform this operation i'm going to show you next now i was going to drink some of this water but actually it is for a test well going back to the subject in order to collapse that bag you will need to create a little attachment and you can buy these from octoinc.co.uk in the uk basically what it is and i'll walk up to the camera once again and show you it's a clip onto which i drill a hole which matches in diameter to say a 20 gauge needle, which I cut down to about 3 16th length. And then I crazy glued the living daylights out of it to the actual attachment and it looks like this. There is a little hole, there's the needle protruding barely. And here is the little stubby needle. And you can buy this already pre-made, but we are working on a 3D printer creation that will duplicate 
this clip and we'll have a lure lock already installed on it or part of the 3D printing. And so you'll be able to perform this directly. So let's go ahead and do what we came here to do. So in order to collapse that bag, especially a cartridge that has no ink, all you need is an empty syringe and that attachment. So we'll go ahead, remove the current clip, attach our modified clip to it, and now we can attach a syringe to that basically stubby needle base and suck bag. And I'm gonna go ahead and walk up to the camera again, and we're gonna see this collapse to the rear where it should be. Let me angle it, and you should see that circle that you see in the middle disappear. We'll do that again. There, now I cannot pull back anymore. And I got a little bit of black ink left in there. So now that bag is fully collapsed. So you may need, I used a 10 ml syringe. You may need like a 20 ml syringe because the capacity is close to 15 internally. So we have a little bit of ink here. As you can see, maybe like half a milliliter of ink. We're gonna put this aside carefully. And now that we have the bag collapsed and say, for instance, we want to go ahead and flush this cartridge because it may have been sitting without a protective clip for months and that sponge needs to be always wet. That's the only way the ink flow properties of this cartridge can be maintained or kept at the optimal level. There can be no crustiness anywhere on that sponge. So if you notice any kind of crust of dried ink, you better flush this cartridge. And you don't have to worry about using Windex like with the original CLI 42s for the Pro 100. You can go ahead and use just plain warm water. So we're going to inject. I got 15 ml here. I'm going to inject very slowly. You see how the ink or the water in this case is entering. Give it a swish and pull back. And you can see all that dirty water because this originally was, I believe, a matte black cartridge. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very strong black ink. I pull back until I cannot pull back any longer. And there, now it's, it's, it's collapsed. At that point, it is collapsed. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully, you should do this on a sink, obviously. We're gonna pour out that dirty water. We're gonna bring the syringe over to my cup and pull in about 15 ml of water. And you can do this a couple of times. Inject that water in, give it a swish. More water, more swish. And again, remember you will have, possibly if this works out, a 3D printer accessory that you can then use not only for your PGI 72s, but the PFI 300s, as they are going to be called, the new cartridges for the Pro 300. We're gonna pull back again, and you do this as often as you need to do to end up with a clear water. That means that cartridge is now very, very clean. And that bag is now fully collapsed. And what I would suggest you do is once you get this to the point where the water is clear and you are now ready to fill it with real ink, whatever choice of ink you choose to use, pull in about maybe five milliliters of ink, inject it in the bag, give it a swish, extract it again, and that will remove like 99% of the water, maybe even higher. You will end up with a bag internally that is coated with just pure ink and then you can go ahead and suck that little bit of ink out that's going to be disposed of and now you can refill it with your 15 ml of ink and then once you are done with that what you need to do is put this on a scale oh look how clean that sponge now is you put this on a scale and you dribble drop by drop until you reach 32 0.5 or so grams. It differs between cartridges because the bodies also differ slightly in weight, even though they are bone dry. 
That is what you need to do, period, in order to get those cartridges you may buy on eBay that have been miskept without a clip inside a bag or even an empty box. And those sponges are completely crusted over, completely dried up. The bags are expanded to the max. You can't even put three drops of ink in it unless you collapse that bag. If you collapse that bag, but you do not flush it, the bag will immediately re-expand. You need to have a wet sponge and that will create that surface tension that is required to maintain that bag collapse while you are refilling. Otherwise the bag is just gonna instantly go back to fully expansion and that will not allow you to add ink, especially using the dribble method. Now, with something like this, Heck, you can fill a cartridge in a matter of seconds. In 10 seconds, you are done, okay? And you know absolutely sure if you started. And here's the trick, folks. If you have a certain amount of ink inside that you don't know about, you load your 15, okay? And then you attach it, pull back. You will then load that ink that's remaining in the bag into your syringe. You may end up with 18. So now you keep track of your volume here because this is graduated. And you go ahead and you put in your 15 to 16 ml of ink, just like that. Now I just re-expanded that bag with air, but you get, you get what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-collapse the bag. Remove the clip, immediately attach a clip and that bag will remain collapsed, ready to be filled. That is it. We're gonna have this available. I need to send Rudy, the person who's been doing the CLI 42 holder tray for us, a cartridge so that then he can create a holder for it as well. And all we need is just something to hold them. That's all we need. And then you can go ahead and use that adapter or the 3D printed one, hopefully it will be able to be created and that will make your life just so easy, so easy. Believe me, folks, refilling these in a matter of five, six or seven seconds even, is a lot better than dribbling ink and then hoping you don't have a spillover or any other mishap. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. We'll see you the next time. Happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.